Hi everyone, so today I finally want to talk about Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. I read this a little while ago, but fear not for the accuracy of this review because it's still pretty fresh and it's it's all right there. It hasn't been that long. So I have read most of John Green's books and I have read a few collaborations done by David Levithan and other authors. I love their writing both so much and I'm so glad that they came together and did this collaboration because it was so wonderful. Now this will not be a spoiler-y review because there's not too much to spoil that's gonna like ruin the book for you. However, I will say that this is an awesome book and I totally recommend it. If you like contemporary books, John Green's books, David Levithan's books, or if you like quick, entertaining, light, fun reads that still have some meaning in them, I totally recommend this book for you, and it is best to go into this book not knowing what's going on. So I'm gonna give you the gist in this review and give you my opinions like on the characters, but I will recommend leaving if you have not read the book. I'm not going to spoil anything, so you're good if you haven't, but you should read it and then come back and we can talk about it. So it's totally up to you, but goodbye if you want to experience it all on your own. All right, Will Grayson, Will Grayson. We have these two different guys and they're both named Will Grayson. One is narrated by John Green and one is narrated by David Levithan. John Green's Will Grayson is this very average high school guy. He wants to live a normal life and have normal friends and be normal and just fit in. However, that's not very easy with the best friend that he has. His best friend is Tiny Cooper who is this very flamboyant and proud and large and gay guy. Tiny Cooper has new boyfriends all the time and is in love with someone new every week and on the occasion that bad things happen to Tiny Cooper, Will Grayson sticks up for him so he doesn't have too many friends anymore. The other Will Grayson is David Levithan's and he is this very depressed and dark and teen angsty angst angst teenager. He's very alone. His dad is MIA. He lives with his mom. He doesn't have friends at all. He has this one girl, Mara, who is goth and likes to try to talk to him and he doesn't feel interested and he doesn't even want to be her friend but he talks to her sometimes. And he's just very angry and angsty and mad and that's the first impression we get from him. So for almost the first half of the book, these two characters are separate and we go back and forth between the chapters. Over the course of the book, we see a lot of growth from both of the characters. We find out different things that are happening on the David Levithan's Will Grayson side. And that brings up different sides to his personality, which was really interesting to see and really relatable. There's also a lot going on in the John Green Will Grayson's life. There's this girl who is an interest kind of sometimes throughout the book. Every chapter is super entertaining. Every page something new is happening, there are new adventures, and just very extravagant and fun. Well, I did think this was an exciting, quick, light, and fun read. There were a lot of messages in it, as expected in all of the John Green books. A lot about love and loving yourself and how others can love you. As we see the two Will Grayson's lives start to connect and intersect at different points, it's really entertaining to see. You know, I'm not usually a fan of dual points of view, but obviously this was necessary in this one, and I was never confused because the David Levithan chapters are always in no caps while the John Green ones are in normalness. And their writing styles are just so unique that you could never get them confused. This was such a good collaboration and it was very fresh to read from these two amazing authors. They come together and it's like the perfect blend of their writing styles. Like every time a chapter ended, I would be so devastated and then by the time the next chapter ended, I wanted to know what was gonna happen next there. It did seem a lot like the lightness and the fun and entertaining side of it definitely overshadowed the deep messages and the meanings and the metaphors that are usually found in John Green books and in David Levithan's writing. I'm not sure if this was done on purpose or not, but it definitely gave it a different feel, which I liked a lot, but the ending didn't leave me going like, yes, like, oh. I still gave it five stars on Goodreads because just because it wasn't exactly how I'm used to these books going, it was definitely very satisfying and fresh to read. The characters were so relatable and so well written. Everyone who was there I enjoyed hearing about. I didn't lose track of characters, like why this person has no meaning here, you know, how that always happens, but 
not here. There's a lot of epic stuff that goes on in this book, and it's really good, and you will fly through it if you read it. So I definitely recommend reading Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. The writing is unique from both authors, and it's very nice to hear from both sides in one book. I loved seeing everything coming together. I loved all the hidden messages in there, the development of the story, and different things that happen throughout it. John Green's writing and David Levithan's writing are both things that everyone should experience at some point in their lives. Well, that's all for this review. I will see you guys tomorrow, and if you are a John Green fan, I think you'll enjoy the video I have up for tomorrow. So I'll see you there. Bye! <laughs>